It's been up for so long, the pigeons call it home. It's ugly. It's a pigeon <laughs> toilet bowl. Upper East Sider Jane Foss says the wood and metal sidewalk shed in front of her apartment has been an eyesore for eight years. It's unsanitary, unsafe unsightly. So yeah, this thing is falling apart. And, City Councilman uh, Ben Kalos hazardous. told four investigates the problem is part of what critics call a zombie scaffold epidemic. Look at it, how ugly and disgusting that is. This summer, four investigates traveled all over the city and found hundreds of scaffolds that have been up for years, some, like this one in Coney Island, up for a decade. Does that seem right to you? No, not at all. How do you have in Park Slope scaffolding that's up for a decade. I know. No work's getting done. It's one thing to put the uh, scaffolds up to protect people. It's another thing to just put it up, leave it up, and not do any work. So this week, Kalos is introducing a new law. Landlords must fix a building facade within six months. And if a landlord can't afford to do the work themselves, the city needs to step in and help. But the building's department said it's not such a simple fix. City inspectors checked more than 7,700 sheds and scaffolds and found 98% of them were necessary for life-saving reasons. Some landlords tell us they'd love to make repairs, but with weather and equipment delays, it's not always easy. And as long as the sheds have a valid permit, for now, they are perfectly legal. Not good enough, says Kalos. I'm tired of sidewalk sheds. I'm tired of getting dripped on by I don't know what. If his bill passes, the sights and sounds could improve. If not, residents like Jane Foss are safe from crumbling bricks overhead, but left in limbo. So the scaffolding will stay up until who knows when. On the Upper East Side, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.